Hi friends, I'm Karan from Team Master. In this video, we will learn the difference between the equals to equals to and the equals method in Java. So you can see here, we have a project 2 created and we have a main.java file. So first of all, we'll create a new string as str1 and give it a value of abc now we'll create a new string str2 and give it the same value abc so now we'll try to compare the two strings using equals method and equals to equals to operator and see what the results are let's see first we'll write the if statement str1 equals to equals to str2 if str1 equals to equals to str2 we'll write the system order statement as equals to equals to gives true or else gives a false so now let's go ahead and run it saving it and running it run as java application we see that it gives a false but here we have the same values but still we get the result as false why is it so the reason behind this is that this equals to equals to operator does not compare the values of the two strings it actually compares the two references that is it tests whether the two operands refer to the same object or not the equals to equals to operator it checks whether the objects have the same address in the memory if they have the same address in the memory then it will return true otherwise it will return false so you can see that str1 has some memory address and similarly str2 will have some different memory address they both will not be same so if they both would have been same we would have got the answer as true so let's try another thing now what we do is we'll just delete this and we'll write str1 we have just created a single new object only one new object and we have passed the reference of it into str2 so now let's go ahead and run it okay so now we get true because we just have one object here which is the new string abc and we have two references str1 and str2 pointing to the same object so when we compare it using equals to equals to operator we are actually comparing the same memory location so we get the answer is gives true that is why the if condition is satisfied so now when we use the equals method it actually compares the value of the object so let's go ahead and try that if str1 dot equals str2 then will give us equal values otherwise okay. different 
values. So now let's go ahead and run it. We have equal values. So if I change this to new string x y z and now run this program I'll get different values because we have two objects here object 2 and object 1 the object 1 has let's say memory address of 1024 and let's say this another object has a memory address of 2056 so now these two memory ad address are different so that is why we get a false while we are comparing the two references of the objects and when we compare the objects values we get the values are different so this is pretty much the difference between the equals equals operator and the equals method Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe as there are a lot of more videos coming up. Till then, be must and keep rocking. Thank you.